Hey, 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 what's up guys? How's everybody doing today? So, um, I have a dose, and I have the dose container also, but I really um, don't want to use the dose container. Um, and I decided I wanted to use my own container, being that I refrigerate dose, and I refrigerate some of my stuff, um, and... The little refrigerator that I use, I can't fit the dose in there, and also the way I have my my um, setup, the dose doesn't work for me. Just doesn't. Anyway, um, so I found online a few guys did this, um, and I figured I would give it a try myself. So I went on Amazon and bought these, which this is a. Uh, this is what it is here. Uh, Molex Microfit 3.0 dual row six circuits. Uh, pack of three in there. So that's it there. Um, and you get a set of these. And you get these also. Okay. Um, so first thing you want to do is all you need is two of these you get a bunch on there but you only need two so break one off and break another off so there we go that's the two that we need um, I had an old uh, Jabal Jabo whatever you want to call it I, um, that this this pump here wasn't working anyway so it was kind of useless so that's where I got my wire from right here it's all you need literally a small piece of wire what you're gonna do is strip the edge here that's all you need um, on both sides Um, so they do sell a tool that crimps these I don't have the tool um, on there it said you could use a needle nose and um, honestly I just used my finger to kind of just squeeze it's very thin as you can see very very thin so I just use my fingers um, so I just want to get this nice and straight the raw wires are nice and straight. Then you want to push the wire all the way in. You want to make sure that the raw wire is all the way down in there. And um, just have the rest of the the insulated wire but right up against like there so that's how it's supposed to look right there okay and then again like I said they do sell a crimping tool for this um, and I didn't know when I bought it I didn't know that at the time but you literally take your fingers and you squeeze the crap out of it just to make sure it's seated in there and locked in. Um, you could also use the same um, cutter if you have one of these and just crimp it just so it's nice and tight in there and it won't come out. Boom. And so there's two sections. One to hold the raw wire in and then there's another at the top that holds the insulated portion in so you want to make sure you crimp both of those so they don't come out okay so crimp also and now if you give it a tug you see that it doesn't move it doesn't come out okay and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So 
push it all the way down to make sure it's seated in there. Just squeeze it a little bit so it kind of grabs it. And then uh, you're going to use, oh, see, it comes out easily. That's why you want to make sure you, you crimp it. There you go. And I just kind of squeeze with my fingers so that way I know it's not going to come back out right now. And then grab this. Squeeze down here. Make sure it's in. Squeeze right there also. Give it a little tug. Not going anywhere. Then with the pin up, with this up, you're going to put one at the top left, right there. Push it all the way in, make sure it's all the way. And then at the right. Do the same thing, push it all the way in there to the point where you do not see the little silver pins. And voila. So one in the with the pin at the top. That's where you're going in. And you're done. Now once you plug this in, I'll take the phone here. Okay. Once you plug, um, so I have three goals. That's my setup. So this is the reason why I don't, I can't use. So this is my refrigerated stuff. So I have two bottles, one with uh, fuel and um, one with Fido Feast. And the dose, does, the DDR, which is right here, does not fit in that. And I already have this here where I do acro power calcium and alk um, so that's a lot of stuff the dose does does not work for me. the DDR does not work for me um, so plug your you plug it in here in the side of your dose I'm holding the phone so it's a little difficult sorry and once you plug it in here Sorry guys, it's a little difficult with one hand. So I'll pause and come back. And there we go. So that is what it'll look like. A little wire right there, sticking out. And now your um, DDR, will the DDR uh, will come up the DDR5 uh, file will pop up on your your screen now so all you have to do is go in and add it and you can see it on your dashboard um, and set it to whatever your volume is like let's say for instance the fill line here is 1500 mls I would just put it in every time that it the doser doses it'll go down how, however many it dosed out of the container and instead of you know coming and checking every time you can see it right from your dashboard telling you how much is remaining in the container and you know once it gets to whatever your low point is you can just fill it back up alright there we go that's simple thanks guys